Hey Vs, I'm Marie from Humble Bee and Me, and today we are making these super fun mango mango bars of cold processed soap. Because soap requires more of everything, I've made a couple changes to these bars that differentiate them from the rest of the things in our mango mango series. The first one is that instead of using the natural mango fragrance from Essential Wholesale that we've been using throughout the series, I am using a synthetic fragrance oil that smells like mangoes of course and that is purely a cost thing. Synthetic fragrance oils are significantly less expensive so in a recipe where we need a lot of it it seemed prudent to use a less expensive option. You are welcome to use the natural one if you'd like but uh, I thought I would save mine for other things. Our other change is using micas to color the bars rather than sea buckthorn fruit oil. I have used sea buckthorn fruit oil to color soaps in the past and it does work well initially but I do find that it fades over time. So with these bars I chose to go with micas instead so that I could know that the color would last for a good long time. My initial idea was to do a bit of a sort of a drop swirl but as you'll see that didn't really turn out. Uh, I did kind of the drop pour, it just didn't really swirl as much as I was thinking it might. So if that's the thing that you want, if you want more swirl, I would recommend whipping out your hanger swirl bit of wire and uh, giving a little bit of a swoop 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 before you let the soap saponify so you know you've got that swirly action going on. If you're an intermediate soap maker you will find this recipe super super simple and I think very fun and mango scentedly awesome. So come on, let's get started. Before we dive in, I want to do a quick overview of everything in front of us. So here we have our fats and they've been melted together and then allowed to cool to room temperature. Here we have our sodium hydroxide solutions. So this is with no water discount and a 5% super fat. Over here, this little dish, we have some white kale and clay. We have our fragrance. We have our micas for our swirling and decorating and I've got some extra on the side just in case I need to make up more of this mixture on the fly. Fingers crossed I don't, but you know, sometimes you do. And then over here we have our mold and our immersion blender. So we're going to begin by blending the white kale and clay into our mixture of fats with our immersion blender. Up next we're going to add our sodium hydroxide mixture and then bring our soap to a light trace. All right, so we've reached trace. We're now going to add our fragrance and stir that in. Now it's time to divide out some of this so we can create our different colors. I'm just gonna disconnect the immersion blender so it's a little easier to set aside. I'm going to blend the yellow first. You typically want to blend your lighter colors and then your darker colors so you don't have to clean your blender in between. Now I want to kind of create the swirl by pouring this color from a, a bit of a height. Okay, so I top that off with a bit of a smattering of some of the leftover pre-dispersed kind of orangey ready mica there and then did a bit of a toothpick swirl and kind of that's that. So we are gonna leave this to saponify because I didn't do a water discount and this has a pretty high proportion of soft oils. I'm probably gonna leave this for about three days before slicing it, but uh, yeah, I will see you then. So it has been just about three days and we are ready to take this out of the mold and slice it and see how it turned out. And there we go. We just made some beautiful mango mango cold processed soap. 
These didn't turn out quite the way I was expecting them to, but I still really like them. I love the happy colors and they smell fantastic. So I'm going to leave these to age for at least four weeks since they contain quite a lot of soft oils before use and gifting. That is pretty much it. Please remember to go down to the description box below this video and click through to check out this recipe on my blog where you'll find a lot more information about this soap, the fat blend of course, information on where to purchase ingredients, information on the mold that I've used and all the instructions written out and just lots of great information and also a ton more mango mango recipes if you are a mango fiend like I am. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.